Hello everyone, welcome to Bottom Science. So today we are going to understand a program of matrix addition in Fortran. If you do not know about what matrices are, so I am going to show you a good link from where you can learn all these basic concepts. So this is our website from where you can get the basic knowledge of matrices that you want to uh, have actually. And uh, from this introduction part, you can get to know about what matrices are. So the matrices are just a rectangular array or table of numbers, symbols or expressions. These numbers are arranged in rows and columns basically. So uh, before jumping to the Fortran program, I just wanted to make, um, make you aware about what matrices are uh, actually. So it is just kind of revision and after that we are going to need the knowledge of order of matrices so so basically to add two matrices the order of those two matrices must be equal uh, what i mean to say is that i mean to say that if you have two matrix that is matrix a equals to one two three and four and matrix b that is 5, 6, 7, and 8. The matrix addition is only possible if the order of these two matrices are equal. So I mean to say that these dimensions that is rows into column and rows into column should be equal. That is I want to say that these columns and this number of rows should match with these number of rows and these number of columns with our other matrices. So then only the matrix addition is possible. So let's get back to our foreground program. Here we go. So in the starting we just declare the name of the program that is matrix underscore addition. And then we have declared this statement that is implicit none to avoid the amb ambiguity uh, between variable names. Then we are going to need these variables or integers, whatever you want to say, for the ad addition purpose. So these uh, these will works as indices, indices, different indices that we are going to need throughout the uh, program. And then we have declared the two dimensional matrices that is matrix 1, matrix 2 and and then the resultant matrix in which our result will be stored. And then after that these are few print statements to make our program more uh, attractive or or I should say interactive with the user. And then we have just asked for number of rows from first matrix and then number of columns for first matrix and then we have asked to enter the elements of the matrix using this statement and this statement is nothing but a shorthand for nested do loop actually so what exactly this statement means is like this i is equals to 1 to m and then we have written inner loop that is j is equals to 1 till n and then we have asked for the user to enter the elements of the matrix that is the elements of matrix 1 that is Then we add this inner loop and then this outer loop. So this statement is just a shorthand for this nested do loop. To avoid this these much lines, we have just used uh, this shorthand in which inner 
inner side represents the inner loop and the outer side represents the outer loop so let's move forward similarly for the matrix 2 we have done the same thing first we have asked for the dimension of the that matrix and then we have asked for the user to enter the elements of the second matrix uh, and then we have used this condition of checking that if the matrix addition is possible or not so the matrix addition is only possible if the order of first matrix is same as the order of second matrix so these rows and columns of first matrix should be equal to the rows and columns of the second matrix actually so uh, that is row of first matrix should be equal to row of second matrix number of rows and number of columns of number of columns for of the first matrix should be equal to number of columns of the second matrix that we have checked here after that the main thing arrives here which helps us to do the matrix addition so what we are doing here is adding the elements of first matrix one by one to the element of second matrix one by one so what is happening here is actually this let me put some arbitrary values here and in the second matrix let me again put x y z w some arbitrary values so what is happening here in this statement is it is adding element by element that is this and this so with the help of this nested do loop we are adding the elements of matrix and then in the end we have just uh, represented our final result which is stored into this resultant matrix and then in in this loop we are just uh, representing or printing our final resultant matrix that's it so if this condition fails then it it simply prints that matrix addition is not possible because of the dimension error that is dimensions are not matching so and then we have used this and if statement to and this if condition and then and program so i hope you have understood the program if you have any doubt you can put some comments under this video and the code of this program is available on on our website and the link is in the description below thank you so much